Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, um, we are going to go over the gyro glitch. So, if you don't know, this glitch basically, well, I, I don't know really how to tell you. I'm just going to show you. So, this glitch makes it to where if you're in space, so I am pressing all of the control buttons. So let's go to space. Basically turn the gravity down. Now, when I press a button, it stays exactly where I want it to stay. In the orientation that I want it. Now that is because, let me show you. So as you can see, you have an end logic gate hooked up into a corresponding gyro. The gyro, all of them have zero controls, strength 10. The end gate has your controls, the controls for your gyro that, you're, that you want, and an output of 0 0.2. Okay, now you can do it less or more but I think 0 0.2 is the best. Um, I don't know about 1.10. 0, I mean, 1, 0. I don't know about that one. Oh, I think it's just more precise. Oh, it takes way longer. So it's way slower. Okay. So yeah. You gotta be aware which direction how fast you want to move but it stays exactly like I press that button and it, sta it doesn't drift at all now um, I, yeah so the AND gate hooks up into the gyro so as you can see I've put controls it goes straight into the its corresponding direction axes of gyro so this one's hooked up into this one this one's hooked up into this over here. So they all have, there's three axes of rotation. Wait a second, hold up. Did I just, no way. Oh no, I almost got it right. That's funny. I needed to switch blue and green. Oh, so the ro rotating uh, think I should have oh yes I'm going to do that hold up look and now it matches the um the rotator thing oh wait oh wait it only matches the rotator if you look at this way if you're looking this way it doesn't match yeah it only works if you're looking this way So, um, yeah, it just stays exactly where you are. Now, what if you have more weight on your vehicle? Um, I'm going to show you what happens when you have more weight. So this, obviously, is way, weighs way more than this one does. This one's like one, 140. Yeah, 140-ish. So, yeah, this one's 1,030. So this one, so if I have put the controls, it starts to drift. It starts not being, well, the roll is very responsive. But if you have mass outside of the center of mass, like in the, the pitch, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm just pressing it. Like, I'm just holding it down for a little bit. Let go. Yeah. So now you're drifting, which is not good. So I, I think, yeah. So if you, the yaw is uh, also affected. So all we have to do, probably already knew this, but we just add more. You just add more in the same uh, axes. Now they don't really have to be stacked on top of each other. 
Now let's just make sure that they're all connected. Same places. They're both connected. They're both connected. Okay, cool. Now, hopefully. Okay. I can see a difference. Definitely see a difference. It doesn't move as much. But honestly, h how big is your spaceship going to be? Like, honestly. Yeah, see? It stops way sooner. Let go. Yeah, way sooner. It's not like perfect, like the roll is still. But, you know how to fix that? You add more gyros. Literally it. Rinse and repeat. I don't need more gyros in that axis. Oh wow, way faster. So, push, let go. Oh yeah, much faster. Roll, doesn't matter because there's nothing on the outsides. Um, let go. Yep, okay. And I think if you just wanted it to be stronger in the axes. I think all we have to do is make it less, maybe? So th now this is yaw. Okay, it's way slower, which means it's more fine-tuned, so it doesn't move as fast, so that the f it doesn't rotate as quickly. Uh, but yeah, you probably want to keep it at 0 0.2, uh, just because... So, yeah, at this point, we would have to add another one, and I know... That's a, oh, that's a lot of gyro. Look, almost no spin anymore. It stops. Not as well as this one stops, but it does not stop. So, there you go. The more, honestly, how many things are going to be 1,000? Because that's more, if you're just putting blocks, blocks don't weigh a lot. Seats weigh, you know, 25, 50 sometimes. This weighs a lot, 40 kilograms. These only weigh 5, but blocks, they only weigh 0 0.6. 0 0.9, 1.2, this one's 2.5, 2.5, 10, way less than 50. So, if you're just adding blocks, it's not, you're not going to hit the limit anytime soon. Yeah, you're just, you're just not. Now, obviously, spaceships, you want to keep your center of mass inside of your vehicle. Um, and not like, you, you want to keep the gyros in the center of mass. Um, but also, you don't want to like, you know, put a bunch of weight all the way out here. Because then that throws everything off. And now our roll is now going to be floaty. Very floaty. Because the weight is all the way outside. Because we only have two gyros controlling it at the moment. So if we had four like the other two, it'd be different. But like, you know, don't put weight all the way out here. You take away the weight, it works just fine. Well, it's still pretty floaty but I probably have bored y'all to death also I do have the original like little thing the thing inside of here right here I do have that on the workshop I don't remember what it's called maybe I do spaceship controls so I have this um, I think they're messed up every time yeah they just keep messing up so make sure you delete the controls if you have you know a lot of weight make sure you add more gyros and i think that's all from me i hope this video has earned your subscription please comment down below if you enjoyed the video or it, it was helpful thanks for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye